Look who's finally awake. Who are you? What's going on? Just having an early Christmas party. Who are you? Why am I tied up? As you can see, we have Christmas presents and everything. But it's kind of a secret Santa, so who knows what we'll get. But why am I tied up? Who the fuck are you? Help! Help! That's quite enough of that. Do you love Christmas? I said, do you love Christmas? Yeah, yes. Hmm. Most people do. Others can't stand it. Did you know it's the time of the year with the most suicides? I've heard that. Isn't it funny that something loved by so many can be the same reason that leads people to kill themselves? Yeah, I guess. I used to love Christmas. Not anymore, though. No, no, I don't want you to think that I'm one of those that have the suicidal tendencies. That's not my style. Why don't you like Christmas? So nice of you to ask. Oh, by the way, would you like some eggnog or something? I'm fine. I just want you to be comfortable. You see, I used to be married. We had a beautiful daughter. Would you like to see a picture? Sure. This is my wife, Lydia. This is my daughter, Christy. What's the matter, Robert? Do you recognize them or something? Two years ago, three days before Christmas, my babies were taken away from me. They were on their way to a Christmas party. Some drunk ran a stop sign, and that was it. The police told me that they never knew I hit them and that they died instantly. <laughs> As if that were to comfort me. By the time I got there, the bodies were moved, but there was still broken glass everywhere and a few presents that had flown from the car. There was blood on one of the presents. It was my daughter's blood. However, the drunk walked away without a scratch. There's supposed to be a trial, but apparently someone lost the breathalyzer that they used at the scene. Later, I found out that the drunk had a cousin on the force. Isn't it funny how that worked out? That has haunted me every single day since it happened. Oh, really? Even when you're getting trashed at the local dive bar. Even when you were getting drunk at the strip clubs. Even when you were drinking and driving after that. You were so heartbroken that you decided to do it again. I drank to calm myself. I drank because the nightmares were too- Enough! It's present time. This is going to be fun. At least for me. I have three gifts. Two of which have, well, we'll say tools that can inflict a lot of pain, even death. The third one contains your life. By that, I mean you get to keep it. If you choose correctly. What, uh, what do you mean? 
But haven't you got it yet? I came here for revenge. I came here to kill you. Why else would I go through all this? It was an accident. I made a mistake. There's gotta be another way, right? Okay. Go ahead, pick one. No. No, this is stupid. I'm not choosing shit. Or I could choose for you if you'd like. Okay. The one... The one with the white bow. Good choice. Fuck you. <sighs> now in time, you sick fucker. We're not done yet. It's my turn. What do you mean, your turn? Have you ever played White Elephant, Robert? No, what's White Elephant? It's where the next person can either choose from the remaining gifts or take someone else's gift and make them go again. You can't do that. That's not fair. Tell me about it. Okay, let's see. This is a tough one. I think I'll take your life and let you go again. This is unfair. You said that if I chose my life, that you would set me free. Or I can choose for you if you'd like. Looks like I have your life in my hands, Robert. This is going to be a good Christmas after all. Oh, how did you not know that? <laughs>